Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B quarterfinals, round one, problem one. We have the integral from zero to one, x to the fourth, one minus x squared, all over one plus x squared dx. Okay, I think I'm doing two videos on this one, kind of a short method and a long method. This is probably the longer way, where I just wanna notice with the bounds from zero to one, and with this denominator, I can use geometric series on it. Our geometric series formula looks a little different than what we have here. It's gonna be one over one minus x is gonna be the same thing as the sum from n equals, so that's a zero, to infinity of x to the n. And for this to converge, we need the absolute value of x to be less than one. So rearranging what we have here, if I just create a one here in the numerator, we can look at this as one over one plus x squared. But when I do this, I can write it as one over one minus minus x squared, just noticing that's the same thing as this right here. And then plugging it into this formula here, we're gonna have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of minus x all squared. And now what we need for our convergence, absolute value minus x squared to be less than one. But inside the absolute value, minus sign doesn't matter. Notice with our balance between zero and one, this is gonna be fine. All these values between zero and one, when we square it, they're still between zero and one. So then what I'll do is take this part here, plug it back into our integral for this piece. So when I do that, we still have everything out in front here, still x to the fourth, one minus x all squared. And I wanna break out the minus sign, and for that I'll have minus one to the n. And now I'm realizing my formula is completely wrong. Sorry about that. If you plug minus x squared into this, you get something very different. This should be minus x squared all to the n. And so when I rewrite this, just to make it clear what I'm trying to do, after I make a mistake like that, I, wanna, I don't wanna confuse people. So let me see if I can explain this better. The minus sign I can break out as a minus one. So we can have this, I can write this as minus one to the n. Then we're gonna have x squared to the n. Let's distribute in the n. And so I can write this as x to the two n. So now using this thing, this is gonna become x to the two n over here, dx. And then I'm gonna to wanna to distribute all this stuff inside the sum, but before I do it, it's kind of, I wanna simplify this. So let's multiply out one minus x squared. So if you do that, you're gonna get one minus two x plus x squared. And then from there, I wanna distribute in the x to the fourth. So when I do that, we have x to the fourth minus two x to the fifth, plus x to the six. And then let's take it a step further. I wanna take this and multiply it by x to the two n. So let's see how that's gonna look if I distribute that and we end up with x to the four plus two n minus two x five plus two n. Then last, we're gonna have just x to the six plus two n. So let's take all this and put it back into the sum. And then with this thing here, all I wanna do is let's just reverse, let's reverse the order of the integral of the sum. The reason we can do this is because we checked, we got our absolute convergence over here. So when we have absolute convergence, that's gonna allow us to flip these. And then minus one to the n, that's just gonna be a constant inside the integral with respect to x. So I can just bring that out front. And now what we notice is all of our exponents are just constant values with respect to x, of course. So all this is just power rule. So we can do this real quick and just integrate it. So let's see how this is gonna go. We're gonna have for the first one, x four plus two n plus one, but four plus two n plus one, that's just five plus two n. And that's gonna be over five plus two n. And really the same kind of things happening on the other ones. This is gonna become six plus two n adding one over six plus two n. And then this one's gonna be x to the seven plus two n over seven plus two n. And all we need to do is just evaluate from zero to one. But evaluating at zero, we notice everything gets zeroed out. And then when you evaluate at one, it's actually really simple because it doesn't matter what the exponents are. You plug ones in here and that's gonna be a one, that's gonna be a one, that's gonna be a one. So let's just overwrite everything with ones right here. And now all we need to do is just deal with this sum. One thing I can do in the middle one is Let's just multiply by one half over one half. Just in order to clean it up is we've got a two in common. So if I do that, that's gonna cancel here. And this here is gonna become just n plus three. And now let me just clean up the board and we can just focus on this sum right here. Oh, shoot, no. Okay, one thing I forgot on the other board is I forgot about this minus one to the end. So what I did is I broke this up into three sums and just distributed in the minus one to the n into each sum. 
Now from here, what I want to do is let's focus on this one. And what I want to do is actually let's multiply in this minus sign. I can multiply it, I can multiply it in here and we can make this like minus one to the n plus one. Now the alternating harmonic series formula is very similar. It's going to be n from one to infinity minus one to the n plus one or minus one doesn't matter over n. Writing out some terms of this, you get one minus a half plus a third minus a fourth plus a fifth, etc. But this has a well-known value. This is just the same thing as natural log of two. Now to get this to look more like what we have over here, let's just do an index change. I want the n in the denominator. So if I, if I subtract three on here, I just need to add a three on the index and I need to subtract three here. And so then just rewriting this part, this is gonna become n equals three now to infinity. The numerator becomes minus one n minus two over just n. And now I'm kind of wishing I didn't distribute that minus sign in because I actually want to take it back up because I want to get this exponent to be more like this. So if I just bring a minus sign up front, I can change this here. It doesn't really matter what I change this to. I can change to minus one, plus one, plus seven. I'm going to change, let's change it just to match this. So I'm just going to write this as plus one just because it doesn't matter how we do it. And then what we have here is just the same thing as this, except we remove these first two terms because we're starting here at three. Well, one minus a half is just a half. So then what's in this box here is gonna be ln two minus a half, but we have a minus sign around the whole thing. So this whole expression is just gonna be one half minus ln two. And now that's gonna be, and so that'll be our value for this middle sum right here. Then next, let's just focus on these two because they're really very similar. They're both similar to the sum when we had two n plus one. So we have this formula when we have n equals zero to infinity of minus one to the n, two n plus one. Looking at some terms of this, this is gonna be like one over one minus one over three. All the denominators are gonna be odd. One fifth minus one seven, et cetera. Well, this is really similar to our power series for arctan, particularly if we look at our arctan at one, it's gonna be exactly this just because the arctan formula has an x to the n in it, but if you plug in one, this piece goes away. But for arctan of one, we get pi over four. Now, this doesn't really quite help us here because you know we get the two n plus five, two n plus seven, and we have these working together. So I don't think I'm really gonna use this. What I wanna do instead is just kind of start writing out some terms for each of these. So like starting at zero here, we're gonna have one over five minus one over seven plus one over nine minus one over 11. So basically the same thing as this, just starting at the third term. And then I'm just gonna add on, if we do the same thing with this one, what we get is the first term is gonna be one over seven minus one over nine plus one over 11 minus one over 13, et cetera. Well, the reason I don't really need this is because we get all kinds of cancellation. The one sevens cancel because everything has opposite signs. And this is just gonna cancel everything all the way this way. So all we're left with for this sum plus this sum together is one fifth. And so all I need to do to finish it, let's just take this and total it up. One fifth I can write as two over 10 plus one half I can write as five over 10 minus ln two. So for my final solution is we just get seven over 10 minus ln two and that's it. Okay, so there you go, kind of a longer method doing it with geometric series. I think what I'll do is another video with this. I'm just gonna do straightforward methods. I think that one's gonna go a little quicker. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.